Good morning, my name is Rick Nayer from HME Business and welcome to MedTrade 2023. I'm uh, pleased to be sitting here with Mike Lorenz from Brighttree. He is the VP of Resupply. Hi, Mike. Hey, Rick. Good to see you. Good to see you, brother. Thank you. So, where is automated resupply heading? So, great question. Um, something I'm passionate about and, and at Brighttree we're really committed to. What we see in the marketplace is you know, a combination of pressures um, on our providers in that uh, you know, the expenses in their businesses are growing. Um, you, you think about the expense of labor, um, et cetera. At the same time that the consumer environment externally, people are used to ordering on Amazon. They're used to getting things quickly. There's kind of an instant um, uh, uh, gratification uh, culture out there for consumerism. So for us, what we're trying to do is say, okay, what are patients used to getting? what do providers need and how do we supply that um, as, as a partner with our providers. So for automation, we see this driving a couple of key roles uh, for our providers. First, um, being able to reach out to patients in that Amazon type experience where, hey, you know, they can order online um, you know, they, via text, via email, via an app, a, a very you know, personalized experience for that patient. Great, you're automating that order generation process. But then just as importantly, that order comes into the provider how can you automate the order processing? So how can you automate getting that order verified, you know, that the insurance for the, for the patient um, is, is all up to snuff. So they've, they've got, you've got the correct payer, um, you've got the yep. correct eligibility schedules, all that stuff. Then moving on, hey, once you understand the payer and their rules, how can you verify the documentation that you have on file? Mm -hmm. Hey, we've got a prescription, we've got a prior authorization, we've got whatever it needs. Uh, how do we get that order to the warehouse, uh, to the correct warehouse, uh, depending on what the patient has ordered? How do we get that information back into the system? Mm -hmm. um, and so, hey, you know, hey, this item is shipped. Here's a tracking number sent to the patient. This item's on back order. Notify the patient. Um, so we're looking at automating every single step along the way. Um, so you have a large percentage of orders from your patients that are completely automated. It doesn't take the provider out of the patient mix. It's always super critical uh, for, for the provider to provide great care to their patients. But when nothing needs to be done, you shouldn't be asked to do something. So automating each one of those steps along the way uh, is what we're working on. We've, we've seen some great success. Um, so we're pretty excited about this journey we're on with yeah. our providers. Where do you see the, that actual human element kicking in and, and becoming an integral, integral part in the, in the process? Great question. So see it in kind of two, two places primarily. First, when you bring a patient in and set them up on therapy, it is great having a face-to-face -face interaction or a, a virtual interaction with a real person that can walk a patient through, hey, here's the equipment you're going to get. Here's how it works. Here's why it's important to your health. Um, here's how you stay on therapy. Um, interacting with that patient to set them up for a great automated experience in the future. Hey, let's get your email on file. Let's get your credit card on file. Let's get... Um, you know, a text consent from you so we can reach out to you that way. Let's download the app. You know, whatever that experience is that the provider wants to drive with that patient, mm -hmm. do what it's set up. Get a great quality setup. Tell yeah. them 90 days from now, you're going to get a text from us and it's going to look like this. You know, it's not spam. It's, <laughs> it's us reaching out to give you your orders. Click on the link. Here's how it works. So setting that patient up correctly for a great experience for the rest of their life on therapy super critical. It's a great spot to have people-to-people -people interaction. Secondly, later on, hey, there is a, let's say there's a problem. Uh, you know, the, the patient's machine breaks or they're having, they're struggling with their therapy. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't want them talking to a to software, right? You want them talking to a, a, a real person um, Absolutely. Who, who understands their equipment, who understands their diagnosis, all of those things. So when there's really a problem, absolutely have that patient talk to somebody from the provider, a real person that cares and, and can troubleshoot and, and really give comfort and have empathy um, to that patient. So Very important. those two things, absolutely, people are super critical, but a patient wants their stuff. They have the same insurance they've always had. They have documents on file that are great. It's the same things they've always ordered. They just want it. There's no reason to inject a person in there. Just yeah. slow down the process. Right possibly frustrate the patient, you know, all of those things. So when you can automate it, absolutely, because it saves your people for those critical touch points where they can really add value. I totally agree with that. Um, 
Can you give us a little bit more uh, of the specifics about the setup process for providers? I mean, um, in order to automate the uh, implement this. So you know, this is a it's a really a, a symbiotic relationship between the setup and resupply. So if you do a good job at resupply for your patients, and I know this sounds backwards, but I'm going to start there. I, Vice President of resupply, I've got to start with resupply. <laughs> so if you do a really good job at resupply with your patients that patient is gonna stay with you longer. They're gonna order more equipment. So the lifetime value of that patient is much higher for a provider. Now, if the lifetime value of that patient is much higher, you can invest more in the setup, right? And investing more in the setup drives the longer patient relationship and the higher uh, patient value. So I think about these things being very interconnected. It's a continuum of care, obviously, um, but what do you do at setup? Um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, absolutely you're going to educate that patient why they need their therapy. You know, the common things that, that go wrong and how to troubleshoot it, how to contact the provider. But again, setting them up for, you know, if they if if they are um, appropriate for an automated experience, how do you get their email, coach them? Hey, we're gonna send you some stuff. You know, make sure it doesn't go into your spam folder. Um, yeah. It, so here's what the emails look like, etc. Yeah, I get it. That's great. That's yeah. helpful. What is one specific component that you're excited about in particular? Okay, great question. So we're excited about the whole space, but uh, one of the things that's coming up really soon for us that we've been working on for a long time um, is uh, integrating with e-prescribe platforms. So you know, we're, we're constantly thinking about what I call efficiency frontiers. How do we get better at every um, element of this process? How do we get better at order generation? How do we get better at insurance verification? How do we get better at uh, document chasing and retrieval? How do we get better at interacting with warehouse, et cetera? Yeah. Um, but in the documentation space, uh, one of the things we think we can uh, work on to move that efficiency frontier um, a, a little farther uh, is integrating with ePrescribe solutions. We've got one that's live currently and another one that's very near to go live. Oh, and, and how this works is, um, you know, if you're trying to automate an entire order, if you have everything great, flows out the door, we've automated a bunch of the process, but there are little hiccups that happen. Hey, you know what? A document is expired. Okay, somebody has to go do some work on that. Um, somebody has to contact the doctor's office, send them a fax, whatever it is to, to get that um, uh, prescription back. What we've been working with is um, integrating with e-prescribe vendors. So when our software recognizes, hey, we need a new prescription for Rick, um, our software will automatically send a prescription request electronically through an e-prescribe vendor. Yep. Um, the doctor will get that, see, hey, Rick, um, you know, his prescription expires, I need to sign a new one. That prescription request will have everything we need to send Rick his order. The doctor can sign it electronically. It will come back into the software. The software will read it, log it, send Rick his, his stuff without any employee having to be involved. So even though there was work that needed to be done, um, it was very kind of if then kind of work and we were able to automate it using technology. It's a greater, exper better experience for the doctor. It's a faster experience for the patient. The provider doesn't have to um, spend resources faxing around or tracking down paper. So um, we've got this in place with one e-prescribe vendor uh, currently. We've got another one coming out very soon. Um, and when you think about this in the context of resupply, a lot of these payers are requiring a, a new prescription every year. Yeah. And so, hey, you've just taken out five touch points. If you've got a patient That's for so five critical. years. That's so critical. That's great. Um, and you've sped up that process. You've made it more convenient. So we're super excited about this. Um, our R&D and product teams have worked really hard on it. Um, we've seen great results from the providers that are already using it. Um, but as ePrescribe gets deeper and deeper into this industry, we think this is just going to be a game changer for our providers and for no their doubt, patients. No doubt. Is there anything else that you want to uh, add to this conversation that you think would be helpful for our listeners? Yeah, I guess the, the one thing that, that I would add is that um, for providers out there, um, they should feel partners in this process. Um, this whole industry is moving in this direction. Yeah. We're excited and proud to you know kind of be leaders in this space. Um, but we're not solving all these problems by ourselves and thinking of all the uh, dynamic solutions um, in a vacuum. Yeah. You know, providers come to us with great ideas. They come to us with tricky problems. <laughs> they come to us with real world examples of what their patients go through. Yeah. So I, I would just encourage providers that are listening to this, challenge your, your technology um, platforms, whoever they are. Hopefully you're on Brightree. We think we do the best job. 
Um, if you're on Brightree, challenge us to be better. Tell Fantastic. us the problems that need to be solved. If you're not on Brightree, whoever you're working with, challenge that provider. Hey, we need to automate this experience. It's got to be more cost effective for me as a provider. It's got to be more convenient for the patient. Um, you know, the outcomes at the end of the day are what matter. But you know, our providers want to grow. They want to serve more patients. And so if you're not going down this journey hand in hand with your technology platform, you know, there's a chance someone out else out there is moving faster than you and, and you don't want that, ha that yeah. to happen. So engage in this process uh, with your technology platform. Hopefully it's us. Uh, you know, we, we love hearing feedback from providers, but if it, is, is, it isn't us, whoever you're working with, engage with them and, and make this a reality. That's great advice. Typically, if providers want to learn more, what's the best way for them to do that um, to, to get on board here? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, brighttree.com slash resupply. There's a, a bunch of resources there, and, and you know, it'll, it'll pull you in and how to contact someone That's it. Brighttree. simply just brighttree.com forward slash resupply. Yeah, and if you're already a Brighttree customer, um, you can talk to a customer success uh, manager that, that works with your account or you know, someone from customer support. They'll all get you to the right place. Fantastic. Yeah. Wonderful. Mike Lorenz from Brighttree, the VP of Resupply. Thank you so much for talking today to me business. We really appreciate it. No problem. Thanks, Rick. Best of luck going ahead. All right.